Good afternoon. Ooh. So it's, uh, oh, I've been doing my thing again. It is the 31st, New Year's Eve of 2023. And I just want to, I've been set a time on here. I don't know if that means I'm running out of storage space, but I wanted to pop on and whilst it's still 2023, just kind of go over what my 2023 goals reselling goals were and i don't i don't know if i did any personal ones i gave up on things like lose half a stone and go jogging and crap like that because i'm oh, sorry it's not crap it's good stuff if you want to do it but i tend to um if i set things like that i just know i'm not going to do them they're meant to be achievable but then you've also got to have the kind of inclination to do them haven't you I mean I've got a pass for swimming like a club thing near me and sometimes I get in the pool and I go up and down a couple of times but honestly if I don't I don't even care anymore I just go down there to sit in the jacuzzi a nice shower steamy room come up feeling relaxed because that that was mainly why I got it was just to help with my stress levels so and I don't have a car now so I feel because of that like kind of um I can't think of the right word but sort of by accident I get more exercise than if I had a car because I have to walk places or cycle places um yeah anyway so yeah this is about to, this is meant to be like uh i'm gonna have a look back on the video that i did last year no doubt but i i did have the notes on my phone and i've written them down so i can we can discuss um also before i get started so i will this will be followed up with a in the new year with a 2024 goals so there's something for you to look forward to please before we start Comment down below with, did you have any 2023 goals? Did you achieve them? Um, very interested. I do love goals. I've always been somebody, It's I guess it's a personality thing. Some people are like, oh, no, I just I don't set them because it's not their style, their personality. But there is also something about why well, I like change. And there is something, so I'm just finishing my cup of tea here. Um, there's something about like the idea of what a change and a fresh start and you know it's all like bright and shiny for me seriously I really I like goals um where should I go and sit down there hang on let's bring my bit of paper uh so just a quickie video we'll get this um whilst it's still 2023 yes I am in I am can I say half dressed I think I'm half dressed well, I'm not naked, but I mean, like, I'm not in proper clothes. Uh, but I have been out, if you're wondering. I have been out for a walk, and it was raining, not raining, raining, not raining. Um, but it was nice. It was nice to blow the cobwebs away. We are, it's not a usual New Year's for us this year. Connie has got a party to go to, but for one thing or another, we would usually in our, like, crew of friends um all meet up well taking turns really to host um but that's not happening this year from one thing for because of one thing and another um and uh one of our friends also well a friend actually that was going to host this year had covid over christmas which is which is awful um so we might and some friends have been in St Lucia for Christmas which has also been awful for me um I think they've had a great time but so I have suggested that we do some kind of post Christmas meetup because a lot of us have been a bit out of the loop this year um anyway yeah sorry back to the 2023 goals so I did have on my list here Etsy and Depop to give those a bit of a uh, stabbing and I think I did, and I said, right, I'll well, give Etsy more of a go than I usually do, you know, like a week or two and go, oh, no, it's rubbish, I've got to go. Well, I'll give it longer, and it was still rubbish, I've got to go. So <laughs> I didn't get on with it, um, too slow for me. Depop, I've got a couple of sales on there, 
but also I think I'm too impatient or something yeah, but I didn't go on with it so I'm like right come on then let's just concentrate and obviously I hadn't realized at that point that uh, minted would become such a big thing I have been neglecting neglecting minted recently but that was carrying me and is carrying a lot of people right now I think for quite a long time um so yes what's next smaller profits quicker turnover so that was something I was aiming for yeah and I I would I mean wouldn't we all love that really like you can cope with a smaller profit if it's going to sell that day the next two days this week um but I mean that is still that's still the case for minted for me, but not not the bay. Um, but then, hang on, that was something I was going to talk about for next year. That so that was a target. So hang on, I'm trying to keep on track here. Did did you do that, Shelley, in 2023? Did you? Um, Smaller profits, quicker turnover. Yes, I did on minted. Um, obviously, I gave up eBay. And Etsy and Depop fell on its face. So, yeah, it worked on... It worked. It, it worked on minted. So, yeah, all right, then. Let's give that a tick. We'll give that a tick. Etsy and Depop, sort of... I did try it, so it's sort of a tick, but it wasn't successful. Um, smaller stock levels. Yes. That's a definite tick. I definitely worked with smaller stock levels and that's something that will be continued. Um, yeah, definitely did that. Cleared out lots of stuff, job lotted stuff off. Um, and I had in mind as well that I would be, you know, as the year went on that I'd be downsizing. So smaller stock levels, yeah, big fat tick, managed that. And, and yeah, I do like that. Um, trying to manage... Well, it's kind of a weird thing, like back in the jewellery, trying to manage jewellery, I think you necessarily have more stock, but it takes up less room. However, with the minted, we have only got about 20 things on there at the moment. It's the uh, last chance to use the Christmas mug. Um, do not over-invest in one area. I am so guilty of this. I go headlong into stuff if something sells for me i go batty and i go oh so that sells that sold really quickly right i'm going to keep my eye out for those and i'm going to buy loads of them and do not over invest in one area so minted i did i did have a fairly a bit of a spread i'm trying to think I did go a lot more into clothing because, I, well, that does go well, obviously, on minted. Um, we all know what I'm talking about there, don't we, Vera? Um, I think I was better in 2023, not over-investing in one area. Yeah, I think I was, actually. Um, for the future, mm, I know what I'm like. I know what I'm like. And when I like something, I just go a bit mental for it. Um, so it, I did for 2023, I'd say that is a tick. Doing all right here so far, to be honest. And then the last one was research trends and bolos. Uh, yeah, and I've got really into that. Um, so the bolos are kind of... Trying to think... Yeah, I still, <laughs> trends and bolos. Yeah, trends are always something I've kind of looked at, like for the jewellery, I'd be looking at, you can look at catwalk trends and things. And I was I'm trying to think now, was I looking at that for the clothes I was picking up? I used it for the jewellery, you see. I think I did, so research wise, Obviously, I've had the eBay Startup Scale-Up programme, and that's really helped me in terms of um, statistic research, which I'm not so good at because I find it boring. But I was the rep helped me 
like went through my figures with me and what they meant and that that is useful um so I towards you know the end of the year I was able to look at um where I what I should be buying generally researching trends in bolos has consisted I felt like didn't it has consisted of me stalking shops seeing what they're selling any of my friends that are watching this yes I stalk all of your shops obviously you know that um and if you've got a tube channel even if you're not advertising your shop let it be known that I will have found it and I'm stalking it and uh thank you for the lovely things you sell um and watching people's hauls and you know keeping yeah keeping up on see from a haul obviously you don't necessarily know if someone uh is going to get that price for it but if it's a brand you haven't heard of you know like a clothing brand you know things like i picked up in the air yakko mara card i'm trying to think of um other stuff that i'd never uh claire campbell high use high use claire campbell whichever way oh yeah and high tech i picked up i wouldn't have known about those things i i um stole those brands from Lulabelle, um, Muffin, what's her name now, Dressing Darling, um, from watching people's hauls, you can then go, oh, what is, what is that band? And then you end up, uh, or, or even like this, oh, that's a calculator, isn't it? Anyway, I'm on my phone doing stuff. And uh, and then you can look up the sales room and go, oh, that's, it's quite a spenny brand and then you can look out for it um so the, the yeah I, I mean that's my professional research but it it has worked i have picked up brands that um sometimes you, you do it yourself you stumble across them you're like mm, that's good and then you you look at the brand and go oh but sometimes you just hear somebody else talking about it and uh jobs are good and off you pop um so actually, i mean that's pretty that's pretty good 2023, actually. Maybe I'm starting to set things that are a little bit achievable. I mean, the Etsy and Depop, I don't know if I put, I've just got them, them written down. I don't know if I put, you know, sell lots on there, in which case it was a big fat fail, um, or if it was just try them. Well, I did try them and failed. So make of that what you will. Uh, hmm. Anyway, that's my round up. That's a little short and sweet one. That's my 2023 reselling goals did I hit it or not please do just a reminder tell me down below did you hit yours what were they um or or personal ones if you had some personal ones you wanted to hit and I will be back in the new year with my 2024 goals um have a lovely happy new year whatever you're doing um if I don't die <laughs>